Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to install Windows 11 on your latest macOS using an app called VMware Fusion here. So when you open the app for the first time, this is what it looks like. It says select the installation method. So this app is like parallel desktop. It allows you to install Windows 11 or any Windows operating system on your Mac virtually. It means that it allows you to use both Mac and Windows interchangeably. So after you have this app installed, again, all the links are in the description. You can check them out, especially the link to purchase this app from its official website. So after you have this app, the next thing you need is is Windows 11 you can go directly to Windows website official website just type in Windows 11 download click enter the first link here so what we want is not Windows 11 installation assistant we want the installation file which is about 5 gigabytes so we scroll down here what we want is this one download Windows 11 disk image ISO for 64-bit devices we click right here you can see this is select download so the option we have is only this one and then click on download it asks you some more questions select a product language so it depends on where you come from so I would just use English International click confirm click on 60-bit download here it will start downloading so you can see here this file is about 5.8 gigabytes so just let it finish downloading and I already downloaded this so I will skip this process here so the next stage is it's time for you to install so there are two ways you can install you can install from disk or image or you can drag your ISO file here to start installing so you can just leave it to default select like that and click continue or you just drag and drop it's faster click continue you can also specify the boot firmware but I just leave it default like that click continue and they say this guest OS require a virtualized TPM to function securely so it requires you to have the password so that it will be encrypted securely you can auto generate the password like this of course it is unique but at the same time also difficult to remember in my case I just use my own password and you type that again and they have the option for you to tick here to remember password and store it in your Mac's keychain. I would recommend you to do that because for some reason, maybe you have too many passwords to remember. It's always a good idea to store it in the keychain. But if you don't want to, just untick this. Click continue here. And this is what it says, virtual machine summary. So the guest operating system, Windows 11, 64 bit, new hardware, 64 gigabytes, memory, four gigabytes. You can customize that as well, customize setting to the way you want so here you can customize it to the way you want let's say you want your memory to be bigger than four gigabytes you can drag it here and say I want it not four but let's put eight it's gonna be eight thousand and how many calls you want to just leave it two calls like that if you want your hard drive to be bigger click here so at the moment it's like 64 gigabytes let's say I want it to be 90 gigabytes so like that click apply you click on show all go back and everything else I would leave it like that the way it is I only change the hard drive and the RAM so once you're done you just quit that you click on this big button here to start just click OK it will start the process okay now it starts let's wait for it so just like normal Windows installation process. So language, time and currency format, keyboards. So for me, we choose United States International. Click next, click install now. This is where you have to purchase the Windows activation code. You can go back to Windows official website to purchase that. But for demonstration purposes, I would just click on I don't have a product key just to use the trial version. But if you have the product key, you just type it in here and you click next. But in my situation, I just click I don't have a product key. It will skip this process. As you can see, there are many operating systems that you can select. We have Windows 11 Home and so on. I would just choose Windows 11. Pro click next so they ask you to read their software license terms after you read it you tick here to accept click next so I would not choose to update I would choose custom install Windows only and you see it's 90 gigabytes I just click next and it will start installation process just wait for it okay we restart the process now
Okay, now it asks you to select the country or region. So I would leave it United States, click yes. For the keyboard layout, I would choose United States, but international again. And it asks you if you want to add a second keyboard layout, I will just keep it. So they ask you to name your device that you're using. So because I'm using on my iMac, I just type in iMac, click next. They ask you how you would like to set up this device. So I would just choose it as a personal use, click next. So they ask you to sign in in order to unlock your Microsoft experience. So click on sign in. So I just type in my email address here. Click next and it will send a code to my email I have to input that code click sign in so because I used to install it before they asked me to restore from that previous backup or install a new one so I would just click on more option here and down here they say set up as a new PC so I click on that Okay, now I'd ask you to create a pin, so let's create a pin. So if you want to include letters and symbols, you tick here. But in my situation, I don't want to do that. I only want to type in the pin as a number, so just type in the number. Click on OK. So they ask you to choose your privacy settings. So I would just turn all of these off. You can leave it open, but it's privacy. So I just turn all of these off, click Accept. And they ask you how you customize your experience. I would say main focus is development and entertainment. Click accept. And here they say you want to use your phone from your PC. If you have an Android device, you scan this QR code. But if they say if you're using iPhone, you just skip it. So I'm using iPhone, I would skip it. And here they say access granted. We're giving you a free trial, but I have to pay $99.99 per year. So again, this is only for demonstration purposes only. So I would decline this. Okay, now you have successfully installed Windows 11 on your Mac using VMware Fusion. But if you take a look at the resolution here, it's still kind of blur. It's not HD or 4K resolution as it is on your Mac. So the next step you need to do is to install the VMware tool. So you go to Virtual Machine, click on Install VMware Tools. Click install. So by installing this, it will make your virtual machine recognize the hardware of your Mac and of course make the improvement of the quality of the resolution on the Windows here better. So if it doesn't start, you have to open Windows Explorer and click on DVD drive VMware tool. So this is for 64 bit, double click on this one and click on yes. Just wait for it to install. Click next. I would choose complete. Click next. Install. Now it's complete. And as you can see now, it's smaller, but it's actually this is now the resolution is in HD mode. Click on finish. They ask you to restart, so click yes. So they ask you to type in the pin that you set up at the moment. So I just type in my pin. So you just type in the pin without even click on enter. It works already. It automatically signed in. So I want this to be in full screen mode. So you go to view, click on full screen. Now it's in full screen mode. Everything looks good. We take a look at the computer itself properties if we take a look at the product key and activation you can see here the activation state still not active because we didn't type in the, the key there so if you purchase the activation key just type it in here and you can use it full license here 
So that's it, guys. This is how you can install Windows 11 on your latest Mac OS using VMware Fusion. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. Comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day, guys. See you in the next video.